uh, hi there welcome to the channel so in today's video we will be seeing how to list variations or variants in amazon now if you have seen my previous videos by now you will be knowing that i will be talking the topic in the context of shy on print on demand jewelry so in my previous video we have seen the amazon tool add by up to so in that video i mentioned that so in various ways you can define the parent and child relationships so what are some of the ways so the most common method is like as i said again i'm telling i'm talking it so i'm talking in the context of shine on print on demand jewelry so shine on is a print on demand jewelry services where you can sell necklaces so the primary product offered by shine on is pendant necklaces so the pendant necklaces come with a message card and it comes under two variants it comes with a standard box else it comes with a mahogany style luxury box so please understand this context before proceeding but now let's see some of the ways how we can list variants in amazon so you can list standard box and mahogany style luxury box as variants you can list different pendants as variants for example you can list the first option as love note necklace second option as love for ever necklace third option as eternal hope necklace another way is you can list multiple message cards under one listing so what i'm trying to tell is like the customer can choose a message card from a set of options so we are going to list three message cards under one parent listing so that's what we are going to see so let's roll on the intro and get into the screen sharing mode before we proceed first Let's create some Shine On products in Shopify. So let us pick up some designs from Shine On repository. Let us search for Mother's Day designs. This one looks good. It falls in Nurse Mom niche. So let's search for Nurse Mom. Okay, we have three designs. That's good. So using these three designs, I have created three products in Shopify. The one thing you need to understand is like each one is having two variants. One is the standard box version, and the other one is the premium version, which is the mahogany style box. and each one is having an sku code or sku code so what you need to understand is like even though i told that we have created three products in reality we have created six products in total which is 3 into 2 we will try listing the standard box versions under one parent listing in amazon for now now let's get into amazon seller handle page hover on to inventory menu click on add a product in the next page click on i am adding a product that's not sold on amazon We are going to list our product under the pendant necklace category. In the next page, we can start providing the details. I also like to work in advanced mode, so let's toggle the more attributes button. Uh, does the product has variations? Choose yes. Uh, out of the many options available, choose or check style. Let us provide the product name, provide the brand name. In my case, I don't have the brand registered. I'm providing it as generic. Let us provide the values for other fields quickly. The main thing, the relationship. needs to be defined under the tab called variations before proceeding to that let's fill in the other values department i am choosing as woman gemstone i am choosing as cubic zirconia metal type and material type as stainless steel now let's move on to the variation tab this is the most important part let us define three styles message 1 message 2 message 3 based on this a form with few fields will get populated below we need to fill this provide the condition standard price and quantity In our case, all these are going to be the same as the necklace is same, the box is same. Only the message card is going to change. Hence, it is better to leave the price also same. After providing these things, we need to provide the SKU codes or SKU codes. Refer your Shopify store. Provide the respective SKU code. We are only listing the standard box versions. Go to the Shopify store page. Copy the SKU code of the standard product for message one product. Come back to the Amazon Seller Central page. Paste it to SKU field. Repeat the same for the other two. So what we need to do? Go to the product page from the Shine On Shopify app. Click on Message to Product. Copy the SKU code of the standard box version. Come back to the Amazon page. Paste the SKU thing. I'll repeat the same for Message Three too. You have defined the relationship now. You can move on to the other tabs and fill in the values. You can provide details like handling time, is gift wrapping available, etc. Under the offer tab, you can skip uploading images for now. You can provide product description, bullet points, keywords. you can provide information required under more details tab uh, once all the desired fields are filled in you can click on save and finish button wait for 5 minutes go to the inventory page and see so if you are already on the manage inventory page hit on refresh so now you can see a listing is created 
this is the parent listing if you click and expand you can see three child listings under that so one by one we need to edit why we need to edit we need to edit them and upload the images so click on the first one edit while uploading images kindly ensure the first image is amazon compliant meaning the product should be in white background so this check is a must if required you can also edit the product description and bullet points once the images are loaded and the necessary edits are done click save so repeat the same step for the other two message two product and message three product while uploading the images please ensure you are not messing up messing it up the mock up for message one should go under message one listing the mock up for message two should go under message two listing and so on so once these are done give one day by one day i mean give a proper 24 hours of time after that you can see that the listing is live in amazon so your product is listed now in amazon with the three variations you can achieve the same thing using the excel upload feature the previous video i have talked about the excel upload feature so check that video i would say it's more simple than this just to ensure the respective sku codes are provided for the parent listing you provide a sku code i prefer to give the sku code of a child with the suffix p so that would be the sku code for the parent now copy the parent sku provide it in the parent sku field and define the relationship for the child listings list them as child provide the respective child names for parent you can leave it as blank just everything is same you can upload the excel and in my experience what i have seen is like this is more quicker once the file is uploaded mostly within 5 to 10 hours your listing will be live without any issues so i prefer this method uh, so now if you have understood how to list multiple message cards under a parent listing we can do various things if you understand how you are defining the parent child relationship we can define multiple pendants under one listing we can define multiple boxes multiple pendants with the different styles do the permutation and combination the number of choices you can offer the number of things you can offer is now many also try to think different for example most of the people are by default listing love knot necklace so instead of love knot necklace prefer the new ones you can try out the cc cross necklace or you can try out selling the linked chain necklace or you can try out selling the eternal hope necklace so think differently so imagine a case when somebody is searching for nurse mom necklace the top one the top four listings probably would be the amazon ads so your design should stand out so try out a design that stands out different so that so you are having an increased chance of a click as usual i hope this video was helpful it's time to conclude let's see uh, if you are subscribing let's see in the next video else bye